Hi everyone, hope you're well. Sorry it's been a couple of days since my last uh, Tap Titans video. Um, but um, yeah, I've, I've had a fill in with two spare, so expect more and more videos of Tap Titans basically back to normal, which is all good. So I hope you guys are good, you're happy, you're well. So I've got some info, a lot of info actually, uh, for update 5.3 from our lovely Lemming Llama, who's taken over Raz's role, if you're not aware. More information about that exactly here. So let's crack on, go through all the juicy information that we know. Hello everyone, Lemon Llama here. Some of you may be familiar with me on discord or reddit from the past i'm happy to announce that i've taken over a new role at game hive as a new community manager for tap titans 2 well done lemmy thank you to raz for taking over the dev logs and dev updates after falcon moved to being a full-time designer on battle bounces for day um, from today onwards i'll be handling these announcements raz is okay but this will help him focus on his role as tap titans 2 game mathematician ah such a shame we couldn't get a chance to pick his brain because he would have known all the formulas and complicated algorithms this has been something that's been in the works for the last couple of weeks and i'm really excited to be able to continue working with you all in a more official capacity to help strengthen the relationship between the developers and community now let's take a look at some of what this transition means First off, well, first off, I hope you're getting paid and I hope you're getting paid well because you've done so much for the community, Lemmy, for the last four years, over four years. So thank you. First of all, thank you very, very much, Lemmy, and you well deserve this. Um, so send your love to Lemmy's way if you ever see her or chat to her. First off, I'll present on Reddit on Discord as much as possible to take all of these great suggestions and reports and then filter in and condense it for the developers to ensure that all your feedback is taken into account. While I've been going through all the posts, uh, you make please also feel free to reach out to me via discord messages and i'm sure to pass along all your feedback next up on discord i like to make some changes with the dev talk channels currently dev talk is a bit more restrictive who can post there but i'm hoping to make some changes to open up a bit further and allow more feedback to be posted there more coming soon on that front Do you know what I've, I've always thought about that as well um on my streams i've um suggested before uh, open up the voice channel so my channel has voice channel which is the same as dev talks and discussing kind of like if suggestions chains thoughts and that sort of thing and that's pretty much what lemmy's here if if it gets successful i might ask lemmy and the uh, big players of tap titans 2 if they want to do a session on stream so a live session like a little talk let me know if you think that's interesting if you've got any um questions you'd like to ask live with lemmy and the big team and uh, yeah let me know what you think of that if you'd like to join in comment below furthermore um also going to be making some changes to dev logs and dev updates going forward. Although we like having uh, the weekly uh, candidates uh, with you all, some weeks it's just not feasible to discuss anything about upcoming patches since nothing is so, so solidified yet and completed for. The first couple weeks are a major patch and always a bit sparse for discussion and information and I'm only allowed to talk about the fun new content that has been signed off on. In order to try and fill up these weeks with something a bit more exciting, I'm trying to run some more focused feedback threads and polls. This way we can gather some targeted community feedback and that feedback to help shape how we may improve the game in the future. And lastly, I want to mention that a couple of other initiatives in the work, I'll be revealing those as soon as we get a bit closer to when they are ready. Stay tuned. Already she's absolutely smashing it. She's going for it full 100%, 110% and really, really, I've got the feeling really concentrating on because she was started as a community member so she knows both sides and trying to get as much feedback and responses and that's really reassuring so that's good now let's talk about what you're interested in hearing about a few weeks ago we announced there would be three updates coming in the future one focus on new game mechanics one focus on raid and can experience and one focus on improvement tap types into applications as a whole now we've already had general tt2 improvements with version 5.2 and the map announced that version 5.3 would be faced focused on new main mechanics first off since this is an important part of the mechanics i'd like to also announce they'll be renaming some in-game terms to help differentiate them from each other you'll notice that i will be calling active skills with a different name spells where we'll be making changes to names in-game to help reduce confusion we used to have skill trees 
skills, active skills, passive skills, and hero skills. And you want the skills to remain a part of the skill tree and nowhere else. With version 3.3, we'll be turning up some of these names to help clarify what everything is. Please refer to table below for a list of changes. Do you know what? I never really thought about um, overusing the word skills and stuff and just make it a bit more simple. But uh, this is what the current is on the left and what the new one's on the right. So active skills is going to be called spells. Passive skills are going to be called talents. Um, hero skills are going to be called hero powers. A hero weapon upgrades are going to be called hero weapons. And then uh, fortune weapons upgrade is just going to be called fortune weapons. That makes sense to get one of those upgrades. Um, spell hero is going to be mage heroes. Melee is going to be warrior. And ranged is going to be ranger heroes. That's probably going to link to the names that are on the actual skill tree. But uh, that's, that's what uh, they're going to be renamed for. Um, I think I might get it. Uh, a while to get used to especially because all my previous guys have got the old sayings so it might confuse some people but hopefully uh this these two won't be too much of a difference because you know it's just just need to update all the guides all the 230 guides but uh now i'll be like to introduce one of the new gameplay mechanics as mentioned before as players progress through the system they'll be able to maintain all active skills easily in order to allow the mana system to remain an integral and interesting part of gameplay. We're introducing multi casted spells. What? So, mana control is going to be less of an issue for um, going forwards, but it sounds like you have new skills to level up that allow you to multi cast your spells. Wow. Increasing the overall effectiveness of the spells and adding new effects. For example, multi casting your war cry with. Uh, will increase all hero damage bonus that Warcry gives, but also add an additional effect that speeds up your companion attack rate. So this means that while multicast in Warcry, you allowed your clan ship to fire faster, speeding up how far you can reach your max stage. Multicast spells are very powerful and should help you gain more damage and speed, but also have a downside of costing additional mana. Uh, many players will find this more successful, focusing on multicasting that spells that most impact their chosen way of play, or we'll invest in skills such as mana siphon to help gain additional mana. Uh, I'll get into more details about the changes and some other exciting features during next week's post, so stay tuned. Uh, anyways, that's all for now. I'm super excited to be a member of the Game Hive team and look forward to welcoming you all in a future Happy Tapping Lemming and Armour. Fantastic. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, basically change names to simplify it and then and work on the active skills. So the new skills. Um, which are basically going to use more mana, but give us tons of more damage. That's, that's one of the main mechanics. And if they're not going to do level cap increase and add this as well, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, so long-term players who have tons of mana, like myself, uh, this will be fantastic because, yes, we lose a lot of mana, but we've got so much of it. Uh, mine doesn't drop at all during a run. So uh, for us, it's good. Um, new, time, new players might have to do some sort of um, mana management or manager strategy control. So I might have to um, do a separate video about mana, just mana in general, about explaining or when to use your skills, when not to use skills, which is more effective for beginner players and new players. Um, so look forward to that when this more information comes out and when it actually comes out on the update. So watch this space. Um, I will link this Reddit post in the description below. So any updates, check you can check out Lemming Lama's dev updates every week should be every friday and uh she updates it if she's got any questions then ask her directly and yeah main source will be below uh let's have a look at some of the questions and feedback that you guys have asked so first couple questions about the vents there might be one source of pain and burnout um for like the chore prestige and contest um so again already because we've been at the uh, events the monthly badge grind event for like for a few months now was it a year has been out i don't know it feels like it's been long but a lot of people are getting a bit tired of it another one about events so this is about you know we have three one day tournaments a week on the competitive side of the game don't need another one that feels like a three-week tournament um, while I can't make promises, we are aware of players' concerns around events and we look to help make the events as fun as possible for players now and in the future. So Lemon Lama replied that the that concern about the events grinding um, has been uh, looked into. So more everyone's concentrating on the events or not the actual update. It's um, So far I've gone through five comments and every one of them has said about um, how much the events are too long and how they're um, tedious. One person, six messages down, that says... Uh, Bro, we did all this. Thank you. I have no mana issues. Uh, it says, are there discussions regarding VIP tiers or is that scrapped? We have never completely got rid of this idea. The VIP tiers is one of these ideas we're keeping saved for a special patch. That being said, I don't know if they'd be adding VIP tiers, but if you have any suggestions, please let us know. 
and then is like oh a lot of suggestions okay could be long lines of clan crate so increasing gold mana gain longer duration perks toggable spells um, ability to have one or more fairy add bonus drop from fairies auto collect fairy adds hold more eggs than two short duration for eggs to arrive two day daily achievements auto daily uh, daily uh, collectibles i think auto daily collectibles are really good because i never understood that like once you, once you've collect, collected all you've done all your dailies you then have to go in and collect them if you auto collect them i think that'd be good because why would anyone leave it why would everyone like leave your daily achievements they'd be no point leaving them so i think that's a really clever idea i reckon that actually be like a quality of life thing uh chance for daily clan crates to clan more daily rare equip drops reduce costs daily more daily deals a chance of fortune pet reward auto level heroes faster gain level gain and mega boost there's a uh, lot of suggestions and lemme said she'll pass it on <laughs> i like everything expect a change of melee spill uh, spell ranged hero names prefer the old ones also can't wait for h queen and rockstar to return it was teased in previous update uh, it's a different it's a different comment from someone it says normalize to 300 dust eight skill points and 100 crafting in one tier six titan chest and when there's double tc per event make it six to six k dust 16 sp and 200 shards so basically double it looks like it would also help if um other items will be double as well thanks for justin pass it along so here's a little i don't know if it's a spill but it says how many times can we multicast can i cast five times war cry if i have the mana for it and will it be remaining spell time added per every cast um and then lemmy says i don't think i'm allowed to say the exact number of titans but you're able to do it multiple times and increase the level of skill in the skill tree also increase the number of times you can cast multi-skill um this is good you can i'm guessing there's gonna be a max um but if you can multicast it then you can probably do like a uh push like maybe a push a uh, multi-skill cast and then so you run out of mana and when it refills you can maybe do a uh farm multi-skill cast so maybe it runs more on speed than war cry mod which would be more push so um yeah there's i reckon it'd be a little bit of tactics on that and it probably would be a big emphasis on have a higher mana capacity so i'm guessing probably uh, skill points in your mana capacity um to increase your mana bar to make sure your mana bar is huge and you've got mana regen and all the mana stuff and mana equipment and all that will probably be very useful to have uh when you have to scroll when reading you know it's written by lemmy um <laughs> future dev updates may be a bit shorter since i need to talk uh, both about my personal plans and for the community and updates but i'll probably be a bit more verbose to make sure everything makes sense exactly uh multicast spells sound really interesting and amazing it'd be nice to see how it work out it's really uh it's an awesome upgrade for clanship build and maybe hs and s c with the attack rate increase we're looking for for 5.3 um you shouldn't be forced to adapt to rename some of the older ones that are better in my opinion there should be an option for settings to toggle either old names or new names unless that's what you're thinking of doing just a suggestion anywhere and yet we're able to reset our raid cards um well i think this is less likely to happen we'll be able to reset and raid cards in a new feature or reworked feature required when can i say um what i can say is that it won't be happening in this update but we'll be take it one update at a time for the future i'm not a designer but my personal solution would be to balance raid cards a bit more to give some sort of bonus for having a high amount of total card levels this way all card levels would be meaningful and you wouldn't lose out if you invested in any card this is just my personal opinion as a player though that's all that's all the lovely there's tons of more com um, comments but i probably won't refer it all in a video but uh let me know what you think in the comment in this video and i'm looking forward to this one this one's they're starting to work on the mechanics which i'm looking forward to anything to make the game uh, less monotonous more fun and more easy to grind i'm all up for and yeah thank you very much for watching today's video i hope you have a lovely weekend and i'll see you in the next one take care bye